Here's how I use Perplexity's Comet browser to learn Japanese. I usually learn Japanese through watching Japanese YouTube videos, but I often have words or expressions that I don't understand in the subtitles. So here I open Assistant in the Comet browser, and I'll use this automatic screenshot feature to take a screenshot of the video. And I actually created a custom shortcut um, on learning Japanese, so as soon as I type the shortcut, it will automatically expand to a very complete prompt that I pre-wrote, um, where I specified my context, my Japanese level, the kind of explanations I like, and the format I would like it to output in. For example, for proper nouns like people's names, places, search on the internet to find sources. And Perplexity is able to break down a sentence structure and also explain words in the context of this specific video, which I find super helpful. Also add cultural nuances or notes about um, proper nouns. This is the type of stuff that you would not be able to find in a traditional dictionary because it doesn't have access to the world knowledge that um, the large language model with access to the internet has. In the past, I used to take a screenshot manually of the video, send it to ChatGPT, uh, but ChatGPT doesn't have the context of this video I'm watching, whereas Perplexity has the full context of not just the video title, but the actual content and transcript of the video. So for me, this is a game changer.